Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, October 24th. Today, the first reading for the Daily Mass comes to us from the fourth chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. It reads, Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as it is fitting among the holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggestive talk which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them, for you were once darkness, but you are now light in the Lord. Live as children of light. Ephesus, at the time of St. Paul, was considered to be one of the most important port cities in all the Mediterranean. And given this reality, one can only imagine the prosperity that was present there, but also the sinful activities that also filled the walls of Ephesus. Therefore, when St. Paul was telling the Christians in this community to stay away from immorality, impurity, greed, obscenities, and adultery, he was speaking specifically to the challenges of living in such a place. But these sinful realities are not contained just to port cities. But these sinful realities fill our contemporary world in ways that St. Paul could not have imagined. Let me give just one example. Recently I read that the average age in which a person is now exposed to pornography is somewhere between the age of 11 and 13. And this early exposure to sexually explicit images is leading to an upward trend of teenagers experimenting with sex at a younger and younger age. And also this same article anticipated that the average age of exposure would continue to go down because of the proliferation of internet access. So again, our contemporary world is filled with the challenges that these sinful activities bring. Now the good news, and this is always the good news, that God's grace is with us. So therefore, any number of these sinful realities can be overcome because of God's grace, especially when we turn our hearts towards Christ and allow the divine physician to heal us, transform us, and to protect us from these realities. But St. Paul highlights one important aspect in today's reading because he says one of the antidotes to sinfulness is thanksgiving. Because when we learn and become convinced that everything in our lives is a gift from our loving God, the world begins to look so much differently. Because a thankful person does not want to sinfully grasp onto the things of this world, but a thankful person follows God's teachings because this individual knows that more and more gifts will be poured into a life that trusts in our loving God. In this connection between thanksgiving and the rejection of sin also points to the reality that we, for our part, when we don't believe we have what we need, that's when sin does its best work. When we feel empty, when we feel lonely, when we feel as if we need to fill our lives with something other than God. So again, a life of thanksgiving fills our lives with God's divine love and helps us to not reach out in sinful ways. But I should also once again say that we, for our part, don't automatically move to thanksgiving. This idea has to be fostered and grown in our lives 
through our personal prayer, and also through our continued acts of faith. Because this world is filled with challenges, but also this world is filled with amazing gifts that our Lord has given us. So, don't be afraid of living in this world, but know that the more you trust in God's grace, the more you conform your lives to Jesus Christ, the more gifts that our Lord will pour into your life in this thanksgiving, or at least this attitude of thanksgiving, can protect us from so many other things that do exist in this world. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.